Youth has been held in honor of the Emeritus Dean, Church of Nigeria, Anglican Communion, the late Most Reverend Maxwell Samuel Chukwuike and Ikwenwa. Correspondent Quinn Quen and Iwogu reports that the event which took place at Paul's University, Oka had in attendance his wife, Mrs. Blessing and Ikwenwa, family members, members of the academic community, students, staff and management of Paul University, Council of Knights, members of the Anglican community from within and outside Anambra, as well as friends and well wishes. Her report. Enwa was also the former Archbishop of Province II and of the Niger and pioneer bishop of Oka Diocese. He was born in 1940 and answered the ultimate call on 13th March 2023 at the age of 82. In his tribute to the late prelate, the Archbishop, Ecclesiastical Province of the Niger and Bishop of Oka Diocese, Most Reverend Alexander Ibezim, recounted his life and times and described him as an astute administrator, good in church planting, and great defender of the Christian faith, who developed Oka Anglican Diocese from nothing to something. Archbishop Ibe Zim, who mentioned his very close relationship with the late prelate, assured that none of his legacies will be forgotten. He has been in the rest. He has been in the And now he has come to wear his crown of righteousness. And he mentioned to me that the very crown of what is taking place in our diocese. In his tribute, the former governor of Anambra State, Mr. Peter Obi, represented by the Deputy Vice Chancellor, Academic Paul University, Oka, Professor Stella Okuna, consoled the wife, Mrs. Blessing, and Ikwenwa, his children, and the church, noting that while the man of God was alive, he has profound interest in human development, worked diligently in the lost vineyard, and was one of those who told those in power the truth. And even after his time as a governor, he still had a very cordial relationship with him. <laughs> and development. I contributed significantly to good governance in an state. In his welcome address, the Vice Chancellor of Paul University, Oka Professor Obiora Mwosu, went down memory lane of how the deceased founded the university. The university's effort to honor him by instituting annual lecture series in his name and promised that the university will sustain his legacies. While you are alive, you continue to encourage and support all university in my administration to keep on the pioneer vice chancellor of the university, Professor Gaius Iweli, said the late Anikwenwa helped the university to secure a loan of 100 million naira to undergo accreditation, which was successful, and the loan was offset with the 100 million naira gift to the institution for Mr. Pitobi during his tenure as the governor of Anambra State. Justice Njemanze, who represented the chairman, board of trustees of the institution, Dr. Gabriel Toby, disclosed that the late prelates at the last big OT meeting he attended before his demise requested that they should not allow Paul University to die. A business mogul, Chief GUO Okeke, urged all to join him to take up the challenge of granting the request of the deceased, even as he recalled the role the prelate played in ensuring that the boundary between Anambra and Delta State is where it is presently. Governor Chuku Masoludo, represented by his deputy, Dr. Nyeka Chuku Ibezim, Chairman, Central Planning Committee, Dr. Ima Ezenwaji, traditional ruler of Onicha, Igwe Alfred Achebe, represented by the traditional ruler of Iftedunu, Igwe Emeka Iluno, DMGS Old Boys, Council of Knights, Diocese of Oka Anglican Communion, among others, also paid tribute to the late Archbishop, Queen Anibuogo, ABS News.